In the first major motion made in the criminal cases against the officers charged with killing George Floyd, former officer Thomas Lane's attorney, Earl Gray, is asking the judge to dismiss all charges against him, writing that Lane did not know former officer Derek Chauvin was committing a crime and that there's no evidence that Officer Lane played an intentional role in aiding the commission of a crime. Therefore, Gray writes, the requirements for conviction cannot be met. With the motion, Gray attached a transcript of Lane's interview with the BCA, a transcript of what's heard on body cameras, and photos from inside George Floyd's car allegedly showing counterfeit bills stuffed in the seat. According to the transcript, Lane told the BCA he and King were rookies, partnered with each other for the very first time when they responded to Cup Foods on May 25th. Lane said he pulled his gun when at first Floyd was moving in the vehicle and didn't show his hands, but put it away when Floyd complied. Lane said he and King struggled to put Floyd into their squad car, which he says they tried to do because they were outnumbered by Floyd and his companions, and Floyd was uncooperative. Lane suggested using a restraint technique that involves holding the legs of a suspect who's on his chest. MPD training materials include a photo of an officer with his knee on the suspect's neck. It also says the suspect should then be turned on his side. According to the body camera transcript, while holding down Floyd, Lane said, you want him on his side? Chauvin, no, leave him, staying put where we got him. Lane, okay, I just worry about the excited delirium or whatever. Chauvin, that's why we got the ambulance coming. Lane told the BCA, that made sense to me just because I've had experiences with people who were ODing or they'll be out one minute and they'll come back and really be aggressive with you. Later in the transcript, Lane asked King to check for a pulse. Then this exchange, Lane, you got one? King, I can't find one. Chauvin, huh? King, I thought I'd check him for a pulse. I can't find one. Now, the attorney general's office tells us they plan to oppose this motion to dismiss. The transcripts reveal many more details about the minutes leading up to George Floyd's death, and we'll have much more on those coming up at 6.